Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting a number in standard form to a normal number. Now in the previous video we explored what standard form was and how to convert from a normal number into standard form. And remember in standard form this first number here is a number between 1 and 10, excluding 10 itself, so it's 1 to 9.9 .9 recurring if you like. And then this thing after it here is times by 10 to the power of and then some number here. And what this basically means is that we want 5.7 and we're multiplying it by 10 four times because 10 to the power of 4 means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. We're multiplying by 10 four times. And remember that each time we times by 10, we move the decimal place once. So if we start with just the 5 and the 7 and ignore the decimal point for the moment, currently the decimal point is between here and we multiply by 10 four times. So multiplying by 10 will get it from 5.7 to 57. And then we need to multiply by 10 three more times. So let's add some zeros to the end. And let's just check if our decimal point starts here, it moves one time, two times, three times, four times. So we indeed have 57,000. What about the next one? 3.68 times 10 to the six. Well, let's just start with uh, the digits three, six, and eight without the decimal point. And at the moment, the decimal point is here. Now we need to move the decimal place six times to the right. So we move it twice, one, two, to get to 368, but we still need to times by 10 four more times, and therefore we're now at four zeros on the end. So let's just double check that, 3.68, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is correct. And let's put the commas in. It's 3,680,000. Now with these ones, when we have a negative index here, that means that we're going to be dividing by 10 each time. So we're going to be dividing by 10 three times. So if we start with eight, the decimal point is currently at the end of the eight, it's like 8.0 if you like, and it's gonna move three places to the left. Now we need to add a few zeros to the front, and then let's move this decimal point from here, three places to the left, so one, two, three, and it's going to be 0 0.008. And we didn't need that zero at the front there. So that is the final answer there. And then finally, let's start with this number without the decimal point. And the decimal point is currently between the four and the five, and it needs to move left five times. So let's again put some zeros on the front. It doesn't matter if we have too many because we can always just cross out later. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, Five. So it's there, if I just put an extra zero, it's 0 0.000045. 